lights. All right, folks, let's continue. I got the uh, rug out this morning. Some crazy weather last night with a bunch of hail, thunderstorms, and strong wind. Today we're going to mark holes for the LED lights. So we have a string of four lights that will go down the driver's side and a string of four lights that will go down the passenger side. So I'm going to snap a chalk line across both ends. And then we also have to cut out our uh, uh, section for the, um, the vent fan and get our trim installed. So hopefully today I can get all of that completed and then start looking at uh, cutting out some, uh, some templates to uh, skin the walls. So uh, uh, let's get to it. A lot of yard work going on today. Such a nice sunny day. So, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I got a nice chalk line snapped all the way to the front there. And then I have another chalk line on the passenger side snapped to the front. It's kind of like purple chalk, so it's a little bit hard to see it with all the sunlight. But I've got a nice defined line, and so now I'm going to figure out where my start point is and my end point because I'm going to have... The plan is to have two zones, so I'll have a zone up near the front and then probably a zone back here over the bed. Alright, we have our kitchen zone and then we have our bedroom zone. So it's a little staggered there in the middle, but uh, after kind of mocking up the bed and stuff, I think... Uh, these areas will need the most light because I'll probably be working here the most uh, and uh, I'll be sleeping there and uh, maybe doing some work on the laptop. So we'll have uh, two zones of four LEDs. All right, so let's uh, try to mark our uh, cutout for the uh, fan. Just need to put some screws in it but um, I'm gonna leave the screws out for now because I've got to pull some cable so that means I got to take the sheet back down again so let's do that all right let's uh, let's start wiring up the fan and uh, running the cable through the conduit and then we'll do the same with the two lights in the back and then we'll work our way all the way up to the front let's get to it got um, both of the LED lights in this rear panel wired and also got the uh, the fan wire pulled over and up to the front as well <clears throat> so I'm gonna button this back section up here with the plywood and uh, see if we can pop the uh, LED lights in and actually wire them up and then I'll bring a test battery out here and see if they'll run lights down and a fan six to go all right and just to make sure I have everything wired up okay I brought the old battery pack out tested the fan already tested that light I've got a splice for that light so I'm waiting for my uh, splice connectors but uh, yeah everything's working good so far all right folks last project of the day while I'm waiting on my uh, parallel splice kit from Amazon I created this uh, 
strip here kind of gives the uh, ceiling some detail and it kind of breaks up the uh, the front a little bit uh, so I just took some of the quarter inch birch and a uh, quarter inch round over bit and went across the, uh, the edges and uh, made a little uh, nice little trim piece all right welcome back party people so today I'm gonna continue uh, running power cables I need to run in this section of the panel I need to run a 12 volt DC for the uh, passenger side bed a 12 volt DC for the driver side bed and run the wires for two LED lights and um, also dimmer switches so a dimmer switch for the bed uh, lights and then a dimmer switch for the uh, the kitchen lights and I'm gonna try to put those uh, right above the door there um, so when you step in the van you can kind of reach to your left and uh, be able to uh, dim those lights so let's get to it lights another two lights for the bedroom four lights for the kitchen all wired up all right boys and girls got all of the wiring pulled in at least for the back of the van and uh, added some support on the furring strips as I might hang some storage units up top I'm not worried about the bottom there because the bed will be there but definitely this area here will be heavy on uh, electronics and uh, and then uh, top of the bed on the passenger side as well. So we'll let that dry overnight. It's screwed and glued and uh, we'll get back to it. All right guys, back this morning and uh, it has, weather has changed dramatically. It is uh, raining and uh, the forecast is more rain all weekend. So I'm gonna try to get this uh, vinyl cut today and uh, if I can get a break in the rain and get everything dry enough I'll try to uh, try to tape it down so uh, sorry we've got people trying to beat the, uh, the rain doing all the grass cutting and lawn maintenance um, so I'm gonna cut it with these Fisker shears uh, I don't have anything to lay under it to actually cut it with a razor blade and I don't want the razor scraping my concrete and uh, paint surface up these are pretty sharp. It won't be as a clean line as a razor, but um, I'm going to trim it up with this. And so uh, I'll put you on uh, time lapse. All right, that'll do it for uh, trimming the sheet vinyl. And I have enough square footage too to make a little mat put outside the, uh, the door or the doors while I'm out. Also, um, so I paid about 99 cents a square foot for this sheet vinyl, which is, is fairly expensive for sheet vinyl. But it has a good uh, thickness to it. And uh, I rolled it out last night and it just completely just went flat. So it didn't keep its shape. Like some of the cheaper vinyl will maintain the roll shape and you'll have to put it in the room for 24 hours before it even straightens out. This uh, did pretty well. So I'm pretty, pretty pleased with uh, 
with the vinyl so far and what I paid for it. I am actually going to bond this vinyl to the plywood using uh, tape, double-sided tape. I am not going to put down glue. I'm just going to tape around the edges and I'll probably spray some of the 3M uh, adhesive on one side of the tape uh, to, to stick it to the plywood. Um, sometimes you can uh, lay it down floating as well so I probably won't put too much tape on it but just for spots where I think you know the, the traffic would, would actually try to pull the vinyl up. All right just uh, test fitted the uh, sheet vinyl and it's pretty much a uh, perfect cut to, uh, to the template. Let me uh, run some tape around the edges and uh, I need to poke out the holes for the bicycle mounts. Alright guys, got her all taped down and uh, I use this uh, Robert's Max Grip two-sided vinyl tape and it actually works pretty good. I was uh, debating on whether to put any down at all but uh, I went around the edges, all the way around the edges with this and uh, it's pretty grippy, pretty stringy so uh, I think it'll stick good. So yeah, liking the way it looks and uh, I made some marks for the uh, bicycle installation block so I know where to put those at. All right, that will do it for this video. You guys know what to do. If you like the content, give me a big thumbs up. If it's the first time to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps the channel out tremendously. Uh, if you're viewing and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Also, leave a comment down below if you're building the van out or doing the same thing. Let me know what I'm doing wrong here. You guys know what to do. Until next time, skill up and ride. Van up and go.